Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Blinks, and this is Link7. Today I'm going to show you how to speed up your Photoshop. So guys, before we start, please click the subscribe button, ring all the bells, so you don't miss any of our tutorials when we release them. So without any further ado, let's start. Now, are you having problems with your Photoshop running slow? If you're having a low specs PC and you need your Photoshop to run a lot more faster than usual, there are a couple of settings you can apply to help your Photoshop run better. First, what we want to do is to go to our edits, move to our preferences and go to performance. We can click on performance or we can press Ctrl K to activate that so i want to do that real quick now when i press ctrl k it's going to take me to my preference windows so i want to click on performance over here we want to do three things first we want to adjust our ram our graphics settings and our history settings starting with our ram i have eight gigabyte ram but it's stated here seven point something gigabytes the ideal range based on my ram is four gigabyte to five gigabyte usage suggested by photoshop so if you're having a low specs pc what you need to do is to increase the amount of ram your photoshop can use i'm going to keep it at 90. if you are running a very low specs pc i suggest while designing you should turn down everything in your background so your photoshop run very smoothly then next we want to go to your graphics processor settings what we want to do here is to turn off our graphics processor settings now if your graphics card or your graphics is working and it's okay you can actually go to advanced settings if you are using photoshop 2020 and below you might see these settings here so you want to keep it at basic on the default it's going to be here so you want to keep it at basic and okay this Next is your graphics processor settings. If you don't have a nice graphics, then you want to turn this guy off. But if you are using Photoshop 2020 and below, you want to go to advanced settings and set this at basic. Now, if you keep it at advanced, Photoshop is going to use your graphics card to help you process things in your Photoshop, which will not be nice if you have a low graphics so we want to put this at basic it's going to use very less graphics to process things in your pc which will be left with your ram doing most of the work next is over here your history status we want to keep this at 20 i've already set this to 20 on a norm it might likely be in 50 whichever level now the higher it gets the more stressed out your PC is going to be because your PC is going to use your processor and your RAM to store up history of your previous actions. What this does is it memorizes the actions carried out in the past. Like if you want to undo your act, you can undo up to 20 times and it's going to remember your previous actions and you can go back and rework this. Now, the more you increase this, the more history it can store up. But when you increase this, it's going to use your RAM and your processor to store up these informations, which will result to slow functionality if you don't have a high specs pc so we want to keep this at 20 depending on the kind of pc you use so if you don't have a nice graphics card you can either turn this off or you can keep it at basic now if you're using anything from 2021 2022 you might not likely see this settings so you want to turn this off and after you do this i want you to okay this and close down photoshop After closing Photoshop, you want to relaunch it to activate the settings you just applied. Now Photoshop is reloading and when it opens up, your Photoshop is going to run way faster, better than before. The next thing you want to do to make your Photoshop run faster is to go to your search bar here and type in view advanced system settings now i'm not going to continue typing this because i've already seen this so we want to click on this when you click on this it's going to take you to your system properties you want to move to advanced then click on settings now this is where we make the adjustment so so over here 
we can see select the settings you want to use for the appearance and performance of windows on this computer so in default it might likely be here but you don't want to keep it here because sometimes your computer might not likely make the best of choices like as we can see here it has almost all the animations on and your shadows smooth scrolls and other features that will make your system look too attractive but will require a reasonable amount of ram your processor and your graphics and that will affect your photoshop because your photoshop needs all those things to work faster moving to the next one you don't want to use this because when you enable this it's going to enable all these features and these features use your graphics your processor and your ram to carry out all these works moving to the third one which is what i prefer you use but it might not likely give you the best appearance but it's going to give you the best performance because your system is going to run way faster if you have a low specs pc so you can keep this and apply it in my own opinion i'm going to customize this and i'm going to set it the way i want it to run now you can use this which i strongly suggest you do so i'll be customizing this and i'm going to turn this on keep this on i'd want to turn show thumbnail instead of icon now you don't want to turn this off now this is kind of self-explanatory and you want to come here and customize it based on the way you want it this is how i'm going to set my and i suggest you do yours the same way also now when you are done you want to apply this and then okay it so now i want to open photoshop and when you do that i'm going to open this document here and it's not going to take long for it to boot if you have a low specs pc this pc is not really that much of a good specs but you can see how fast this can go and now one last thing you can also do to enhance the speed of your photoshop is to be careful of the amount of resolution you use now if you press ctrl alt i or let's turn this out and go to image move down to image size it's still going to give you the same thing now you want to be mindful about the resolution you are using if you're using a very low specs pc you don't want to add unnecessary resolution that you might not likely use at the end of the day now switching to this area real quick this is a logo so in most cases it will be applied in a very small scale that you probably use 72 now bringing down your resolution to the most functional and standard level is going to help your photoshop run faster as you not be adding up unnecessary resolution that you will not be using at the end of the day so now let's take for example on a default 72 will be okay for this now it's burning down the resolution now when i okay this this is going to run way faster than me using that high resolution so now i want to undo this and it's now back to 200 now let me show you this is now back to 200 resolution so if i try doing the same thing i did now you notice that it's trying to lag a little bit but if i should come back and apply 72 resolution now when i okay this if i try zooming in and out you see how fast this goes so if you reduce the amount of resolution you're using that depends on the kind of artwork you are doing so it's left for you so do not unnecessarily apply a resolution that you would not be using to help your photoshop run way faster while designing now if you have these settings on your photoshop is going to run way faster let me know in the comment section below your experience with this setup i just showed you if at all you, you apply them don't forget to click the subscribe button ring all the bell so you don't miss any of our tutorials when we release them thank you and see you in our next one Thank you.